If you guys aren't, you know, looking for alternatives um, outside of Alex or dropshipping, you're gonna get left behind. What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about how to actually drop ship from the USA, like how to find suppliers, how to actually integrate those suppliers into your Shopify store, and basically just giving you guys a general idea of like what drop shipping from the USA kind of looks like, um, and what that kind of, like the differences basically between that and then your, your typical AliExpress and you know, stuff like that, okay? So basically, we're gonna hop into a screen share real quick because there are a few things you wanna do in your backend settings wise to actually be able to do um, USA drop shipping, right? Um, Proud to be an American. Um, especially, especially if you guys find, you know, different, you know, one-off companies. And by the way, guys, I do have a huge directory of a bunch of USA suppliers that I've curated for you guys completely free. That'll be in the link in the description. And I'm also gonna go over, you know, a website or two that you actually, like, actually, like, lists a bunch of wholesale and drop shipping suppliers for you guys that also do from the USA, from the UK, um, and just, you know, mainland um, countries that most people are drop shipping from, okay? So we're gonna hop into a screen share right now. Okay guys, so I'm Tiny now. We are in the back end of a typical Shopify store. This is just a test store that I've made for you guys, purely just so you start using, you know, as examples and walkthroughs and whatnot. So basically, um, if you guys don't understand, basically when, when you're reaching out to these USA suppliers, most of them, like, you're not, there's, there's no like huge apps, right? Like there's a few apps where you can, you know, source different suppliers, um, you know, on a, on a larger scale. But if you're actually trying to drop ship differently and drop ship, you know, very, very, very different products that, that a lot of people aren't necessarily seeing or that a lot of people aren't necessarily selling, then you're going to have to do things a bit differently, right? So the first thing you're actually going to do is, you know, when you do find a supplier, when you do come in contact with one of these suppliers that I'm going to show you, um, you, you, know, you have to make an account on the website. Some of them will have ways to integrate with Shopify or, you know, other platforms like WooCommerce, whatever you're using, um, primarily Shopify, or they'll give you an email. Okay. So this, this does require a little bit more work on your end where you're going to have to email them and say like, okay, you know, can I use, is there an email I can use for order for order fulfillment, blah, 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 blah. You can stay in contact with them. And then from your settings, right, you can go to settings. You're going to go to your shipping settings. Okay. You're going to scroll down to the very, very bottom here where it says additional shipping methods. Okay. And then at the very bottom of the page, drop shipping and fulfillment services. So basically you're going to click that. And now you see that there's, there's a few other things, you know, fulfillment by Amazon, like there's a bunch of stuff, but what you're going to do is custom order fulfillment here. Okay. Now, when you add this on the right side of the screen, this is where you basically enter the supplier name. So say you were drop shipping, I don't know, like couches, right? This would be the, whatever it's called, what if it's called, you know, USA couches. Okay. Then you're going to have their email address for fulfillment. So it might be, it literally might be, you know, uh, fulfillment at usacouches.com, for example, right? Now we're gonna click that. They're added in to basically, you know, the, the, the back end, right? And so now when you actually go and add a product to your store, because guys, this is, this is like drop shipping without you actually having to manually fulfill orders from AliExpress, right? Because the supplier is actually getting all, you know, all that data. So when you go and create a product, all right, you're gonna scroll down, do, you know, you're gonna add, you're basically gonna add everything you need to, but then the, the part that's that's important, right, is the fulfillment service. So usually it's manual, right? Even with AliExpress and stuff, you leave that on manual and you have to go outside of Shopify or into Overlow and just order those products, right, manually. But if you already add these suppliers in your backend and your shipping settings, now you can click USA Couches, okay? And again, you're gonna have to have all this kind of stuff. So you have to have the SCU, um, the barcode, or you don't necessarily need a barcode, um, but stocks and then inventory, um, just keeping up with your suppliers. But now, whenever you get an order for that product, your supplier is going to get an email from the email you listed with all the shipping information that they need from you, right? So now, in a sense, like imagine, so with AliExpress, right? Typically, you're getting orders, right? You have to go out of Shopify, go on AliExpress, go on Overlow, and order those products, you know, same day, right? So you're spending money, you know, you're spending a little bit of money every single day on the money you generate, okay? Now with this, you're, they're, they're literally fulfilling it for you, so you don't have to actually manually fulfill orders. And most cases, they're invoicing you once a month, okay? So you don't even have to spend out of pocket for your first month, which is cool, okay? So what, what, what I mean by that is like, say, say you're generating $100 a day using AliExpress dropshipping, okay? You might have to go in every single day to AliExpress and spend, you know, $20, $30 of product, right? Just to ship it. Now, if you have, a third party, you know, drop shipper from the US or from wherever, you have them integrated in your back end. Now, whenever you get an order, you don't have to do anything. They're getting that information, they're fulfilling it, they're shipping it out themselves because they got the email. And then at the end of the month, they'll invoice you for all the products that, that they've shipped on, on your behalf. Okay. So that's the gist of it. Now, 
the good part is, you know, where do you actually find these suppliers? Um, now, what I have in the link in the description, guys, this this is something really, really, um, I don't know, I just want to deliver quality to you guys and give you guys some, you know, crazy, crazy good stuff. So these are niches all over the place that I've curated from online and just places that I've worked with um, and, you know, just trying to get a really big directory of places, guys. And so what you guys will see here is the name of their company, okay? Uh, we can dismiss that. Okay, I've put in the niche or the category basically or what they sell here. Okay, and I've um, also put it where they ship from. So you'll see most of them are USA suppliers. Okay, now we have a few from the UK, um, a few, you know, kind of scattered around here and there, but you'll see most of these places, guys, like again, these are, these are niches like all over the place. Okay, so we have some weird stuff there as well, but I've also listed the website, guys. So some of these websites, you know, you go in, you create an account, some of them you have to, you know, email it. And then guys, again, when you're moving away from the typical standard AliExpress drop shipping, you it, it gets not, not more complicated but more professional i guess you could say so most of these websites not most but some of these websites they're going to require you have a legitimate LLC or business you need an ein so when you create an account you have to fill in all that you know the proper tax information um to actually create an account and become an official like wholesaler supposedly right so that, that's that's essentially what you're doing with most of these sites you're just creating an account in the back end and then integrating it with your own shopify store yourself okay so again that does require a little more work but you get access to a lot of different products and pricing and good shipping times which is a really big key thing and quality guys so th there's a whole bunch of you know pros and cons obviously with you know dropshipping from the usa versus aliexpress and it's kind of just where you where you're at and where you want to be with that um but then if you if, if this list you know doesn't suffice and if you can't find anything from this list that i've kind of curated with just you know um literally over 150 websites okay i also have found a website called sale who um and this is just after Googling around for a bit, but basically guys, this is like, they, they're essentially a directory in themselves. Okay. So I, I made my own Google Sheets directory for you guys. This is a website that's purely a directory. Okay. So as you can see, 2.5 million products sold, 8,000 plus suppliers. So like they're, they're a fairly large directory guys. And what they do is they support drop shipping and it's kind of like an AliExpress in the sense that, you know, you're going through vetted suppliers. Most of them ship from the U.S. or mainland countries, uh, almost said states. And from there, you can, you know, integrate with Shopify, integrate with whatever you're doing and essentially drop ship different products from different suppliers, guys. So again, because with, with the state of the industry of drop shipping, things are changing. Things are shifting. Things are becoming different. Um, everyone's trying to drop ship from AliExpress and that's not a bad thing. You can still do it very easily. Me and Sebastian are going to prove that to you with our uh, little challenges that we're doing, but that's, that's besides the point. And just going from there, guys, like you need to do things or you need to at least entertain the idea of doing things a bit differently to see if that's something you're down for, see if that's something you're interested in and if you can actually do. OK, so, again, this is a potential directory as well. Again, they're, they're a huge, huge directory. Um, I think it's like 50 bucks a year, um, which is not bad, guys. If it's in 365 days. Um, OK, yeah, 67. So just a, just over fifty dollars a year um, for their annual fee. And then I have my directory guys for you, which is completely free. Link is in the description for the PDF of all this stuff. Um, and sale who is also in the description guys. But this again, this was just a quick little video. Just I want to like to help you guys understand how to actually drop ship from the US, how you would integrate in your back end and then where to actually find find the, the suppliers, right? Because a lot of people just don't know where to look or, you know, they're, they're too confused on like how to actually get that all set up. And I hopefully was able to kind of walk you guys through uh, a large majority of that to actually, you know, kind of hash that out for you guys. So that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm back from a long break. I was really just working on other business ventures, traveling, spending time with family. Um, but I'm back. I passed 20,000 subscribers, guys. So you will be seeing a 20,000 special giveaway. I think I'm going to drop, um, or I'm thinking give away uh, my course to quite a few people. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm excited. And I also going to make a video just like what I want to do YouTube wise, like my goals for YouTube. So you guys can get better, get a better understanding of what you want to do. So excuse, excuse my uh, talking. It's literally 3.35 in the morning if, if it wants to focus. I don't, yeah, there we go. 3.35 in the morning, guys. I'm tired, but I'm making these videos for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like. Don't forget to comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night.
Don't give me too be easy. I like a little challenge. When it feels better, when you take a little damage. Slow, learn it fast, earn it, stay, burn it, wheels, turn it. It's an ongoing, ongoing thing. Don't give me too easy.